Welcome to Knock Bro Nation. What's going on, guys? Hey, guys. <clears throat> today, we're here to review issue five of Regression. Regression. Cullen yeah. Bond. So, uh, Psychoticness in your face. Crazy series. Absolutely crazy. Unreal. We love it. We uh, we, love it. We just showed you the normal cover. Here is a Walking Dead tribute uh, variant. Yes. We'll show that up right here. Amazing. Sick. Um, Sick. The actual number or issue is... Well, mis- escaping me right it's, now. It is it's escaping in the me one, as well. It's in the it's in the upper hundreds. I know that, but anyway, right. it's it's a it's a snowy or white floor with Michonne's sword and right. blood. Yeah, um, that's the Walking Dead cover that they're emulating. Yeah. So Skybound is releasing. Um, I think it's for 25th anniversary for the Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, tribute covers. So a lot of other comics from Image are doing tribute covers. Um, Slots had one that Slots just Extremity, came out. Extremity. Extremity. Uh, Redneck. I hate Fairyland. Well, not Redneck. Excuse me. Uh, Gasolina. I was very surprised Redneck didn't. Yeah, I know. That'd be cool. Kill the Minotaur awesome. is going to be coming out. So a lot of those are coming out this <clears> October. <throat> so definitely go to your local comic shop. Um, pick those up if they get them in. So they're, they're really Yeah, cool. and, really and cool. obviously, like we said, Regression did one as well. Yes, so, indeed. Uh, but let's get into it. Let's so, get into it. Uh, with the last issue, issue four, and I think, is this the end of an arc? I, I, I believe it is because the trade is coming out soon. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So this is the end of arc one, guys. Again, if you haven't picked this up, definitely pick it up. It is really worth reading. It's one of our top it's one of series, our top right, series right, now. right now. Yeah. Uh, but we picked up issue four, <clears throat> excuse me, with Adrian being hypnotized. Mm-hmm. Uh, Molly, uh, Molly and him escaped the art gallery after yeah. his uh, alter ego, Sutter, yeah. uh, killed her friend. murdered her friend. <laughs> 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 yeah, so they escaped and they went. She knew somebody else who can do um, hypnotherapy, and this person was actually cool because she actually pulled a gun on the table. Yeah. And was like, if anything happens, I'm at the ready. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I will take you down if anything happens. So that's yeah. where we pick up the issue. And what was great about this issue is it took you a while to figure out that it was actually the the hypnotist talking and yeah. it wasn't adrian it was well, the hypnotist talking from the outside actually through adrian we actually don't pick up the issue quite at not the hip- that yeah pardon yeah me. i've skipped ahead to <clears throat> so we actually pick up the issue right at the murder scene yes. up at the art gallery the detectives right? are at the art gallery and they're going through and, and i can't remember the, the woman's name but she has said that um uh who the victim was and who her friend was she mentions molly and she's like molly is an is an associate of Adrian. Yeah, and so the uh, the male detective was like, really? Gray Mercy or yeah, Gray Mercy. Or he's like, really? Yeah. But she was like, we would have, we would have ended up here anyway. Yeah. The, the the sequence of events, and he was asking her, how do you know all this information? She's like, I'm a good detective. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> so the 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 detective and and murder scene, crime scene scene right. <laughs> ends actually with Detective Gray Mercy. Um, seeing so kind of some strange people, and they have just wicked looks on their face. And we saw them in the previous issue. We they did. were they were watching uh, Adrian and Molly escape the art gallery. They were yeah. standing across the street, and they were just staring at them. And we were we kind of said, "Who are these people? They're kind of yeah. creepy looking." Yeah. And they're seeing him again. And actually, he runs outside, and he kind of says to uh, the lady, "She's like." Oh, those are just people watching. You know, it was a crime scene. Yeah, I mean, he's it's like, a crime scene. What people don't watch. Right. And he's like, know, no, this is something different. And by the time he gets outside, they're gone. Yeah. They're, he's they're like, completely where the hell gone. did they go? Yeah. So. So from there, we actually pick up a great sequence of event, of one event. And that event is the hypnotist, the hypnotist uh, working on Adrian. Right. Going through a massive <clears throat> regression. Yeah. Going through yeah. a massive so regression. She is pulling him. In the, and I liked how she's doing it. She's telling him, you know. Each step you take down, right. you go deeper and deeper. That's her way of hypnotizing him. But mm-hmm. in reality, what he's doing is going deeper and deeper into what we assume is... We don't know. I can't, I can't <laughs> even explain it. I mean, he's just going down a massive staircase. And he's being followed by his his his, his past life. His past regression. Sutter. Sutter. Sutter, Sutter yeah. And so Sutter is kind of talking with him, like, who are you talking to? Because it seems like it's Adrian speaking. It's really out loud. Yeah. Out loud. It's really his hypnotist talking, but it's coming out of Adrian's mouth. And of course, as Adrian is going through the regression, he's, you know, he's talking back as well. 
And so Sutter is just like, who are you speaking with? Like, yeah. You know, why do you keep going further and further and further down? And he he's kind of trying to pull Adrian back. Yeah, like Sutter doesn't want to go down with Adrian, no. right? Because he knows what's down there. Because he knows what's down there. And right. Adrian, through the hypnotist, is being told to go deeper and deeper into this regression or into this Trance. hypnosis. <laughs> like, right. It's really weird. But when Adrian is in the real world, when we cut back to the hypnotist hypnotizing him and Molly there, he's speaking, and I think that's Sutter's voice. He is for a little coming bit. Coming through to them. Right, because Molly is like, oh, that doesn't sound like Adrian. And she's like, is that is that his alter ego? Not alter ego, but is that the, a demon. the, the demon? Is that yeah. the other person? Because that doesn't sound like Adrian at all. Yeah. And that's what she remembers from the art gallery is that voice and that yeah. sinister voice that Sutter has. Yeah. So. And, and, and Sutter, Sutter or whoever is controlling Adrian from his regression actually warns the hypnotist, mm -hmm. you know, you better not go down this road. I'm saying this in layman's terms. I'm not right. saying it for word for word, but right. you better not go down this road because something bad's going to happen. And exactly, <clears throat> there were some points where the hypnotist grabbed, you know, grabs the grab, gun. grab the gun because she was like you just know. worried because yeah, I mean this is coming. This is a a demon type voice coming from Adrian telling there's a threat, and he he kind of says you know you both will be. Um, kind of in danger you both will regret yeah. this. So and actually now crazy. that now that you know I think about it um, we do know where they go down to and and Sutter actually tells Adrian so when he goes deep enough um, down the staircase Sutter says this is the church they brought me to mm -hmm. now we don't know who the they is yet in that statement right uh, but Sutter's kind of talking to <clears throat> to Adrian um, and says, this is where they put the sickness inside me. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> right. the black poison. Yeah. yeah and right away poison, we yeah. get the, the lady figure who we've seen before right. we've in previous before. issues. Yeah. And she says, it's not a sickness. It's not a sickness. No, no. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And, and, and that's, what's really cool. And we get this massive panel where it shows, you know, because it, we always see these bugs come, yeah. you know, in the Russian. We see these bugs. It's this massive bug. And we see all these kind of sickly people. They look like zombies, but they have like this black stuff coming out of their eyes and mouth. And they're all naked and just doing weird yeah. sexual things and stuff. But, so. but this this lady figure, she mm -hmm. seems to be, in like, my way, like the head of things right now. Like the queen all. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and she basically tells Sutter and Adrian sitting there listening to this, um, you know, uh, we gave you reprieve mm -hmm. from your terrible, pathetic life, and you welcomed us. Right. Um, and and this isn't a sickness; this is a blessing. Um, but Adrian says, you know, he lashes out and says, "No, no, I don't want this. I don't want it." Yeah. And that's kind of the the therapist telling him to say that in right. inside his in inside this regression. Right. She keeps guiding him, saying. You, you need to come back to reality. You need to... You can leave this behind. You can leave this behind. You can leave this in your past. Leave the past yeah. behind and come back to where... You know, come back to the the present of where everything is where new, yeah. not great. And, this is aggression. You, know, you don't... Exactly. This doesn't have to be a part of you. Exactly. Leave but, it all behind. But here's Sutter and he's saying, well, this is how it happened to me. Like he's off to the side within this vision, within mm -hmm. this hip, hypnosis within this this hypnosis and he's saying this is how they got me this is how i was damned right um and um this is when they damn both of us mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> it's it's been uh, freaking crazy and you know and and even again when we see the large bug that you were talking about sutter's yeah. like no no not again not again not so again, yeah. whatever happened to sutter um, it was very traumatizing. Very traumatizing. Very traumatizing. So he continues down, and at, at, at this point, we get to the point to where Molly is kind of um, uh, the voice that's coming out of Adrian. She can kind of tell that it's actually Adrian's voice coming out now. It's not Sutter. Mm -hmm. And so at this point in the regression, uh, the hypnotist is telling him to run, come back, kind of yeah. almost like come back to the light. Yeah. Come back to the leave, light. Leave that behind leave and that come behind. back. So he starts running. Yeah. You see him running up the stairs and you see him grab and take Sutter with him. So he's actually pulling Sutter along. Mm -hmm. And as they get farther and farther up the steps, um, you know, crazy things are coming behind him. It's the bug lady who is bringing all the bugs up and trying to chase them. Yeah. And Adrian 
basically makes a choice in the end. Yeah. You know, he so yeah, he so doesn't here, want so to, here's but... Sutter saying, I remember this. Um uh, I remember the taste. I remember, you know, how they took me. Don't let them take me. Uh, something like that. Right. Um, <clears throat> but Adrian is like, this isn't my life. Yeah. I need to yeah. leave this behind in the past. And he's like, I'm sorry, Sutter. He's holding his hand and he actually lets Sutter go. Yep. And But immediately after that, Adrian is feeling very, um, he's feeling great. He's like, this is, you know, that was not my life. You know, you are in my past. You are not yeah. part of my present. Yep. Because I am not part of you now. Right when the hypno the the uh, the hypnotist and I forgot her name, but right when she says, "Now open your eyes," open your eyes you've right. come back. Now open your eyes. She asks him, "How does he feel?" And he's like, "Well, I feel fucking great. I feel I, fucking, I, great. I feel fucking amazing. It feels you know." Amazing. So it's it's clear, and that's right when I love the scene, the panel too. Molly just attacks him A and jumps says, on him. Yeah, and says, "You're free. It's you. It's right. you." And so. Not only does Adrian feel like he's stopped that regression, but now it looks like almost Molly can see it. Right. And 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 we thought it, you know, at the end of that, we thought maybe, you know, Adrian has gotten past his hurdle of his, his thoughts that he's had and, and this regression may have helped. But he doesn't see it that way. So as he's with Molly and they're they're kind of talking, he says, look, uh, I have something I have to do because I still don't feel like I'm truly free. I yeah. still feel... There's something left that I still have to do. Yeah. Um, and Molly asks, are you sure you want to do this? Right. And I'm thinking um, he's going to turn himself in yeah. to the murder. And he's like, look, I I have to tell them exactly what's going on, even though it wasn't me controlling myself. But I still did kill a woman. I think he's yeah. trying to come out and say, look, I'm going to call those detectives and explain exactly what's going on. Yeah, and, and I think one thing that he, he even says in that sequence or in that scene with Molly is that, look, I'm afraid that, yeah, we got this go, but what if I have another episode and I yeah. hurt someone again? In public. In public. And he said, especially you. What yeah. if I hurt? I don't want to hurt you. Yeah. Um. So he's trying to do the right thing. He's trying to tell the police and he actually calls them and they show up and you know the detective is like so are you are, are you, you ready to confess are you making a confession or what are you what are you doing here yeah and all of a sudden we it's crazy i didn't expect this all I of a sudden either. we just get gunshots and they're firing at the detectives and they're not firing at him yeah and adrian even mentions that he's like he sees one of the policemen's gun on the ground he's like i'm gonna go for the gun yeah so the lady detective um, actually gets gunned down and what's really cool she's it's talking not, it's she's, not cool it's because not cool, yeah. she's dying but right the way that her speech was she's fading away right and she even says it's funny i can't feel a Right, but she gives and directions, she and she says it's coming from, in a sense, in short words, she says it's coming from the trees. Mm -hmm. She said shots, trees, and so the uh, the other detective says, you know, shots coming from the trees. Uh, Gray, uh, Gray Weiser, whatever his name is. Um, whatever. Yeah, so Adrian says, look, they're not shooting at me. They want me alive. I'm mm -hmm. just going to grab the gun, and he starts shooting. He starts boom, 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 and all of a sudden we see this huge van roll up, pull right next to him and it's actually the people who were standing outside they snag him they snatch him and drive off yeah so they drive away and we we figure that these people we don't know if they're demon type people or not because we've only seen weird things happen to adrian in kind of a dream type state or yeah. a, a hallucinogenic state what? nothing in the real real live world yet. yeah yeah one thing i do want to mention is it, their looks the way that they were portrayed almost makes it seem like uh adrian when he's overtaken right. by a, a past regression yeah. like so it sinister, almost looks yeah. like they're in their regressions right and maybe they're a part of the same church maybe trying to to rake him in exactly yeah <laughs> that, that's true i mean because they all look had that weird look on their face like hey. yeah you know all <laughs> crazy and stuff so you're right i mean it could be them just being overtaken by whatever regressions they're going through and they're being over they're being controlled. Maybe their regression is. Uh, I the way I feel is like essentially a regression is trying to become full time, right? Back into real life, you right. know. Whatever. No longer life, a right. regression wants exactly. to be real, right? Um, and maybe that's happened to these people when they're trying to pull him. And it, right. it, it's it was a great way to end an arc. It was great, and and that's why I love this cover because you see. Um, you know, you see Adrian and you see Sutter just back to back. And, and the it, stairway. And the stairway. I just I just love that because they're basically one person and that's who 
uh, Adrian has been dealing with Sutter and is, is his past life. So I love that. It's just crazy how from the first issue we had Sutter who was just, a, it seemed like he was just a complete psycho. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and then in the end we find out that no, I mean, he was really, uh, what we think is a, a, a great person. It's just, he fell into this he's terrible trapped. trap yeah. and just trying to get out. He was trying to get out. Right. And he's trying to get Adrian to, um, not sure how we would do it, but allow him to get out of, you know, not because how it ended, well, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, Sutter was a bad person exactly, when he yeah. was in the regression. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just that before Sutter had been taken by this church, mm -hmm. um, we get a sense that he was a good person. Right. Yeah. So it it's it's a great ending to an arc. Um, yeah, that, that it makes you excited for the next. The arc. trade paperback is going to be coming out soon. Um, cannot wait for the next issue. I know. It's going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to see what Colin Bunn is going to do with this story because it's just yeah. getting better. Yeah, better. guys, let us know what you think of this. Again, if you haven't had a chance to pick this up, Colin Bunn is actually doing an amazing job on other stories, but this by, this by far is is one of our favorites. So pick it up. Yes, let indeed. us know what you think uh, of issue five if you have read it in the comments below. Yes, indeed. So uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. Let us know what you think in the comments as well. Let us know what you think of regression in the series. Uh, share the video with friends. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, definitely. I do want to mention, guys, look, uh, if you are a, fa a fan of these these comics and you know your friends are a fan of comics, please share the video for them so that they can become a part of our community because the larger we grow, the more fun we're going to have. Exactly, because we thoroughly enjoy talking to our subscribers in the comments. We get some great comments from our subscribers that have you know really great recommendations of other comics to look at, um, comments of you know interesting things from a series that we haven't caught up on or they we've missed or they've missed. And it's a really good back and forth uh, communication that we thoroughly enjoy. So yeah. definitely share that yeah, out definitely one thing i want to mention just as evidence of that <laughs> was look we had actually a subscriber tell us about god country yeah and what we gained from god country was an awesome experience not to mention an interview with the creator exactly so it's people like you guys that tell us that th those things and we get to we get to enjoy them along with you exactly and that's the reason that we're here is to you know enjoy this stuff together show you our fan base our craziness for comics and what we love to bring some new comics that you guys may not know about and if you're interested in those types of things you'll pick them up and check them out so definitely do that uh follow us on twitter for any crazy things that we're going to be posting from here and from now and then we will see you soon. We are Nacro Nation. And we're, we're out. out.